Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulin with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, our neighbors to the south will be dealing with a huge storm as we head into the next 24, 48 hours. But here across the Tennessee Valley on our Way 31 Skycam Network powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction, we're looking at the sunshine and the sunshine will stick around as we head through the rest of the week. So all that sunshine you just saw means we're not going to see anything on 31 Triple Doppler. We are quiet and dry and these conditions will continue through the rest of the week into the weekend may see a sprinkle or two on Monday as another cold front moves through, but that'll be about it. Here's a wider view across the southeast and for the entire state of Alabama, things are quiet. But if you notice just to the south, starting to see that rain move in from Hurricane Milton, which I will have the latest on that coming up in just a few minutes. But first, let's talk about what you can expect as we head through the next couple of days. Future radar, I'm moving the time, but I have nothing to show for you. Staying sunny throughout the day today. Staying clear as we head into the overnight hours tonight. Now those clear skies is what's helping our temperatures fall into the 50s during the overnight hours, which is making for a nice and comfortable start to our day. Tomorrow afternoon, more sunshine across the area and another clear night as we head Thursday into your Friday morning. By Friday afternoon, yet again, more sunshine, which means Friday night football will be nice and comfortable this week. As far as those temperatures are concerned right now, 75 degrees in Fort Payne, 75 as well in Gunnersville and Decatur, 72 in Moulton, it's 73 in Muscle Shoals and 74 degrees in Huntsville. But our temperatures will warm as we head through the daytime hours today. Looking at 80 degrees in Rainsville, Fort Payne, Collinsville, 83 in Skyline today, 81 up towards Meridianville and Hazel Green, 82 in Huntsville and Faultful, 83 in Decatur this afternoon, 83 in Florence, 82 in Russellville. So another nice afternoon and remember our humidity levels are low as well. So it's going to feel like the lower 80s. Now average high this time of year right around 79 degrees. So we're a little warmer than average heading into your weekend and well above average as we head into Sunday. Sunday will be our warmest day of the week. Another cold front will move through as we head into Monday, and that's going to drop our temperatures even more as we move through next week. We're talking upper 60s, low 70s for your highs and overnight lows in the 40s. Now here's the latest on Hurricane Milton. All those little boxes you see are active warnings in Florida because of these rain bands that are coming ashore. Here's the latest track. Still a category four storm, still forecast to be a major hurricane as it comes ashore. The latest track does keep it just south of Tampa Bay, but any wobble in this track could change how bad the damage could be in Tampa. Still a category one hurricane as it moves through Florida just south of Orlando. But again, keep in mind, we're not going to see impacts here across the Tennessee Valley. As we head into next week, that 10% chance of a sprinkle or two on Monday with our next cold front. And there's those cooler temperatures. We're talking 60s for your afternoon highs, 40s, maybe even some upper 30s for your overnight lows. So Mother Nature giving us a taste of winter along with fall. Enjoy that nice weather while you can though now, yeah, right? For sure. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after the break.